Hello, Room 9 kids and families. This is Mrs. Dunbar coming at you from the Dunbar home. And this is a message for today, Thursday, April 9. Let's see what's new. Just a reminder that every day you need to check into Microsoft Teams and click on the assignment for today. It'll be called Room 9 Kids Lessons 4 and it will have the day's date. You will always have three things to do. Click on the attendance survey to take the survey for your attendance. Click on the link to watch the lessons that have been recorded and do any work in your notebook I've assigned. And then lastly, fill out the reflection on today's learning. And what you do is you click open this Word document. Just click right there on the words. It will open up on Office 365 this document, answer all three questions, then click on close in the upper right hand corner and when it takes you back into this view i'm going to want you to click on this turn in button don't click turn in until you've done all three things i will be keeping office hours from 9 45 to 11 30 and 1 to 3 o'clock and what that means is when you see my face you'll see a green button next to it and that's telling you that i'm available and online so you could reach out to me over here in chat or you can send me a message in student conversations ask mrs dunbar or in whatever group channel you're on i will get a notification over here in the bottom right hand corner in purple to let me know you have a question and i will reach back and chat with you you will also find great resources at mantecausd.net on the main page Click on read more when you see distance learning and it will take you to a page that has information for students, parents and teachers. For students, if you click on this, it's going to take you to a page that will show you how to use Teams if you need extra help, how to get tech support, rules for distance learning, accessing Office 365 and even resources for emotional and social support. If you go back and click on the parent link, that's going to take your parents and guardians to a site where it shows them how to get tech support for students. There are resources that they can use if they want more things, base curriculum links, and ways to find internet resources in their area. If they click on resources to continue at home learning, they're going to find this cool link and that's suggested daily schedules. So families, one of the best things we can do for our students is to create a schedule for their learning at home. So there are just some samples here of schedules that you might want to take a look at to use for your student, um, but it would be a good idea for them to, you know, they wake up at a certain time, take a morning walk, academic time, creative time, chore time, just work it out because uh, what we generally do in our six hours is have a really nice schedule that the students are used to. So whatever schedule works best for you, uh, the nice thing about the learning time is that it's recorded so it allows you to form a schedule at your home that works the best for you and your student one final reminder that there is no school this friday or the following monday so we actually have a four-day weekend there will be no new lessons posted tomorrow and there will be no new lessons posted on monday so we will come back together as a group on Tuesday okay and in the meantime have a wonderful restful four-day weekend I'm proud of the work you've done get a chance to get outside and take a look at some of the beautiful flowers that are out there and just take some time to relax spend time with your family and then come back refreshed on Tuesday ready to continue the learning all right room nine kids and families see you next time